and when, when you started your career, uh, what were your goals starting that you have a particular vision for your life and for your for, for your career? Um, yes, that, that, that's why I would say yes, a firm yes. I think that it's critical for all of us um, to focus on um, what our objectives are pretty early. Um, because I think that um, if, you, if you don't focus on objectives, and I don't mean focusing on them and say you take a 50-year look and say this is where I want to be in 50 years. I think you, you need to take life in, in, in five to ten year plans uh, and say to yourself, you know, where do I expect to be in five years? And I think um, very, very early on, I had always visualized, um, nice to, um, my father put me on, uh, got me a subscription for Reader's Digest when I was 11 years old. Huh? And and so I, I started reading the Reader's Digest and got, uh, I think, an infatuation for the American society. Huh? Uh, and something in my head always said to me that I was going to end up in the U.S. in some form or the other. Um, so it was clear to me that um, after a first degree that I was going to do a master's and uh, the question was where, and but more importantly, it was going to be in the U.S. So I always knew that. Um, and. Um, I suspect that if you look at my resume, you would say to yourself that um, it appears that in the first, uh, I suspect maybe between the ages of 20 and, and 35, I was in a bit of a hurry. So I did everything in a hurry. Um, um, you know, graduated from IFE, um, did youth service, went off to University of Pennsylvania, took the New York bar, worked in London, in New York and in Houston, came back to Nigeria, set up a law firm, you know, sort of did everything that I needed to do, like, you know, in the first, um, uh, got married, um, <laughs> you know, I was married by 25, um, um, so, I, uh, so I, I think, you know, um, you know, the, and, and, and all of that was, um, was planned, mm. planned in the sense that um, I almost felt that um, you needed to do all the things you needed to do as quickly as you could. I, achieve them. Huh? Mm. Um, and so the, some of the, um, the the foundations for what I've done today up till now were laid in those very early years. Huh? Um, uh, and, and so I, when I look back, I, do, I don't think that, um, you know, I, I suspect that uh, I was so impatient, huh? impatient as a young person to achieve, huh? but not achieve at the expense of, um, um, you know, of integrity, mm -hmm. uh, not achieve uh, solely from the perspective of uh, material reward, but achieve from the perspective of laying the right foundations for what I expected that my life would be in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, first, that I wanted to be a lawyer, and it was clear to me. I had great role models um, in, in that in that pursuit of the law. But more importantly, that I was going to. Um, uh, I think it was very clear to me very early on that I was going to be a corporate lawyer. Mm -hmm. So again, those were the sort of objectives that I set for myself. Um, and some of the people that I, I looked up to in those days um, were people who also had um, set up great commercial law firms, but had also um, invested well and had um, uh, and sat on some of the, the, the biggest boards uh, of uh, corporations in Nigeria. So I, I did have a, a view mm -hmm. of what I expected to do. Okay. And why do you think you were such a hurry at those in that age period of 20 to 35? Um, getting married at 25 is not something I would have considered. <laughs> <laughs> um, why? I'm a great uh, believer in um, the lives of great men. Huh? Um, and one of the things that, um, that I do well is uh, read up on the histories of great men and, and what they've done with their lives and what they their expectations are and, and what, you know what was, where was the window of opportunity in their in their lives to achieve objectives and um, it was clear to me that if you think that uh, that life is is a marathon huh? so it's not necessarily about uh, it's not a sprint it's not the fastest guy uh, that yeah, achieves objectives huh? but it's a guy who over that marathon is most consistent in trying to achieve his objectives um, but the consistency also comes with um, a focus on what those objectives are. Uh -huh. um, so while I was racing through life in those early years, um, it was with a goal. Mm -hmm. 
um, and, and I look back to that and I tell you, I, I think I achieved those objectives. But, but more importantly, I think that um, the objectives that I set were objectives that I felt that uh, in the society that I lived in, uh, where I saw a lot of people who um, sometimes just glided through life eh? without um, um, without a proper foundation, eh? without a proper focus on what they wanted to achieve. For me, it was clear that you know I, I had a picture, mm -hmm. eh? and and to the extent that I had that picture, was you know I needed to achieve it quickly. Mm -hmm. um, achieve it quickly and also maintain it. 